I'll be discussing the presence of feminine traits in men and the danger of this phenomenon today is alarming and largely unrecognized. I can guarantee that all of you viewers possess some degree of feminine traits and the concerning aspect is that you may not have examples of guidance on how to eradicate these traits. Surprisingly, even those who are seen as masculine role models have feminine traits. To demonstrate this, I will analyze well-known personalities such as the Tate brothers and some coaches who follow their red pill philosophy and pinpoint their feminine characteristics. Now, are you ready to be shocked? During the past summer, I worked independently as a residential electrician, providing electrical services to American household. Throughout my time working, I had the opportunity to interact with 400 American families. Shockingly, out of the 400 men I encountered, only one acted like a true man. In addition, many masculine YouTubers criticize modern women for their negative behaviors, such as promiscuity and disrespect towards men. However, these behaviors stem from weak men who allow women to act this way, making the real problem lie with men rather than women. Weak men is the core of the problem why modern women act so disrespectfully. You don't believe me, do you? Interestingly, the one man who acted like a true man has been married to his wife for 25 years. And trust me, his wife has no intentions to cheat or divorce him. If you start acting like a true man, you won't have problems with women. You guys blame women that they act like men. Guess what? You act like women and you don't even see it. So hopefully I will be able to point out your feminine behavior and you will realize how to act masculine so that all women around you will respect you. The first trait that you need to eradicate is hysteria. When I arrived in New York, I couldn't help but notice how a lot of men talk excessively and loudly, almost like women who got scared. When women are nervous or in new social settings, they often start talking non-stop or laughing nervously. So excessive talking is associated with women. However, I see a lot of men doing it. Let's take Mr. Beast as an example. I believe he was raised by a single mom. If you watch his channel, you'll hear him talking like that. Ba 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 ba. I'm gonna ask Gordon Ramsay which one tastes better and be brutally honest. This is $400 chocolate I bought off the internet. I understand that he's putting on a show, but in real life, many men talk just like that. Or sometimes they talk like they're too overexcited, especially when you talk with women. Women sense your feminine trait of talking too much. Therefore, when you talk to women, or actually when you talk in general, it's important to stay calm and composed. So one of the big misconceptions of being a high value man is that it really is just about money. When the truth is that in my opinion, there's a lot more that goes into it. You can make a lot of money and still be a- Hysteria in your speech, which includes loud talking, screaming, show of emotions, cursing other people. These are all feminine traits. What were you doing between 17 and 21 other than jacking off in front of your computer? You ought to be a fucking embarrassed. I'm 17, he's 21 now. 17! Does that resonate with you fucking idiots? There are people in this audience today. You don't need to be hysterical. I can show you some good examples of how masculine men talk. For, uh, so there's a channel called Strong Successful Male, Abin Preach, and Joey B. Toons. They're excellent examples of masculine men. So for today, I'm gonna go over an email that was sent from a subscriber. We, we don't know shit. We do know a lot. I wanna know more. It's in the video version of the show, uh, wondering why I- Unlike Andrew Tate, who talks at a thousand words in a second. Da 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 da. I absolutely not really love women. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. I would never let a woman pay for a bill. If someone touched any of my women, I would stand up against 10 men by myself and Guys, I'm telling you, you're making a huge mistake by choosing Andrew Tate as your role model. He may say a lot of interesting things about women and their psychology that I 100% agree with, but he's not a good example of masculine behavior. He's actually quite feminine. Let me show you a perfect example of why Tate brothers spread femininity. There is a streamer named Aiden Ross who even copied Andrew Tate's style. Just like Andrew Tate, he always screams, yells, and curses like a little girl. Fucking Haram. Locked in. This is this is my year, 2020-23. Laughing. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Nothing, Daddy. Haram. No. No. Can I suck on your finger? No. No. Stop! That is fucking haram! It's long. It is fucking haram! Stop! A man should be emotionally stable. Never get triggered and speak calmly, without too many words. With each sentence, you have to get straight to the point. So you have to eradicate the hysteria out of your speech style. How do you do that? 
Well, just be aware of hysteria in your words. Talking less is always better look for a man. By the way, once I write down all the factors of hysteria, we're gonna watch a video together where I will show you how almost all men, 100 men, who are being interviewed has this feminine trait in their speech when they talk. Another hysterical trait includes the use of curse words to connect your sentences because it shows that you cannot control your dialect and emotions when you speak. I love this phrase from Jordan Peterson, you have to be a monster and learn how to control it. By controlling your monster, he means that you have to be intelligent, respectful and calm all the time. There is nothing more masculine and beautiful about men who are monsters yet can control themselves. Mike Tyson is the perfect example of this phenomenon. He is the most dangerous man in the world. Yet, when he speaks, he's a sweetheart and you can sense his positive aura around him. If you cross him, he'll wipe you out. There is a video where Mike is excited and being friendly during the interview, but a stupid reporter brought up rape accusations for no reason. Mike Tyson put him in his place right away. And this is the most beautiful example of a masculine behavior. Motor, Alex, thanks for joining us, both of you. I'll start with yourself. Come here. I have no idea. It's my fault again. <laughs> no. Where the mayor is bigger than the whole, the whole city. You know what I mean? Big hit. Now, well, some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even want to say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that. You know, because it's negative, and you're being negative, and I, I, I met, I met the mayor, right. and nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good, quite a bit of time yesterday talking about his life, yeah. highs and lows. It's so interesting that you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of shit. Hey, with that come comment. on, come on, that's... Nah, that was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know, we're we're doing we're doing live TV. Man, now. I don't care. What are you gonna do about it? All right, you got a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. We are. You know, is it nerve-wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve-wracking for me to hear us talking to a rat piece of shit like oh, you. come on, Mike. No, because you're a piece of shit. All right. You really didn't have to we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this interview. Thank Let's you for this. thank you for coming in. Fuck you. Now let's get to the Tate brothers. I found this video of Tristan Tate buying a Rolls Royce Phantom and he decided to make some kind of prank video where he decided to go as an uber driver just watch how he speaks in a very feminine way and he builds all his sentences with a very strong hysteria so i've decided to become an uber driver safety rating you know the best car i've ever fucking got when i ordered an uber was like a dacia duster you do realize that that in this country, everyone laughs at your company. Everyone laughs at the service because all the cars are shit. You as a masculine guy, knowing that you're strong, you have to always try to defuse any situations. Uh, those who live with women, you know how there could be a small problem. And what women usually do, instead of defusing the situation, they will cre create drama out of a thin air. Blow up a small problem to the insane sizes. Just like women, Tristan blows up a problem, uses curse words, humiliates the guy for no reason, uh, humiliates the company, humiliates everyone around him. This is not the masculine behavior. When I'm in England, I can order Uber Black, I can get the Porsches, I can get the Mercedes. I'm trying to do you a favor. Here, he acts just like girls. Have you ever went on a date with Instagram girls with high-valued women, you know, those boss babes? Those girls usually talk like that. When I go in this restaurant, oh, I don't go in this restaurant, he's the same way. When I'm in England, I could get a Rolls Royce or a Porsche. Such a bitch. I'm trying to up your game. I've got a Rolls Royce Phantom and I want to be an Uber driver. And you're asking me all sorts of difficult questions like I'm some sort of weirdo. Well, the poor guy works for a big corporation. He has to follow the protocol. That's what he gets paid for, for following the protocol. He has to ask those questions. He has to ask whether your car is insured or not. He doesn't know it. Tristan Tate enjoys putting another man down. This is not masculine behavior. Women usually tend to put other men down and to disrespect them. Actually, no disrespect to women. He acts just like a bitch. Do you know what it would be like if you were in Bucharest and your Uber pulled up and it was a phantom? 
That would make your fucking day. Here it's just fucking Nissans and Dacias and pieces of shit. The most importantly, guys, I want you to see the hysteria in his voice. Cursing and hysteria. Da, 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 da. You know what it's like in Romania. You know what? What car do you drive? Where do you live? Estonia? Why is Uber in Estonia? Why am I talking to you? You're in Estonia. Can you give me a Romanian? A Romanian will at least say, ah, yes, you're trying to drive a Rolls Royce Phantom as an Uber in Bucharest. Thank you, sir. That's why you're so fucking rude. Well, you know what? Fuck Uber. Fuck Uber Romania. I'm going to sign up to one of those other companies, or I'm going to become a private chauffeur. And you can stick with your Dacia Logans and your fucking Dacia Dusters and leave Uber in this country to be total shit. I tried to improve it, and you're fucking useless. So, guys, now... I'm gonna read some of the comments that women wrote me under my video, the complete ignore. Let's read their comments and let's look through that between the lines, those comments that all women have this hysteria when they talk, when they speak, when they write comments. And this is the same hysteria that Tristan Tate has. So this lady wrote me, this was a lot of BS. No woman with self-respect would ever date a man like this. How could a relationship possibly be healthy with immature behavior such as this? Men nowadays are trash. You see, she's cursing uh, other men the same way Tristan Tate cursing men. And not marriage material because of listening to things like this. Men just sit down and have an adult conversation and explain what you didn't like and that you don't want it happening again in the future. If she loves you, she won't do it again. SMH, how about putting out content after you've gone to therapy? You see, she like now she's calling me names. Uh, you see how women talk? You see this hysteria in their comments? And look at my comment. The fact that you got triggered in the comment section proves why ignoring always works. That's how men should speak. Calmly, emotionless, simple replies. Do you see the resemblance between how Tristan Tate talks and how this lady wrote her comments? Exactly the same, very feminine trait. All right, guys, so actually I want to mention that comment the one, the, that woman wrote me. And the reason why I like her comment, because I actually agree with her. Because now, like, you see how many fem feminine traits we have in men. Trust me, guys, 99.75% of men has some kind of feminine trait. Uh, hysteria, I think probably 70% of guys have this feminine trait. And the reason why I agree with her when she's kind of agree with her when she says a lot, most men are trash, because it's true. Because like, look, if you were a woman, right? Would you respect a guy who is hysterical and who is cursing every 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 second word he says fuck shit fuck shit like every second word he says is a cursing word who curses other men who is like very emotional who is not calm most men act like that from what i've seen from my experience and it's not only in america back in my country it's the same stuff well not in my country but back in russia when i lived in russia for five years it's the same stuff so it's not only like it's a western world it's like most world most men act like that in the world so uh when it comes to the question how to become a masculine man well basically you have to become confident but before you become confident we have this objective where we need to get rid of all feminine traits and today i discussed the first feminine traits that you need need to get rid of so get rid of hysteria in when you speak and get rid of any cursing. Try not to curse at all. So basically, how do you do that? Well, you just have to be aware of hysteria. You just have to be aware that you have to be emotionally, emotionally stable, emotionally composed. You have to always remember, if you found yourself in the situation where you raising your voice, it's a sign of weakness. Not with women, not with your girlfriend, not with your wife, not with other men. You never raise your voice. All right? You always have to be calm and composed. I mean, of course, it's easy to say than do, but later on, when we're going to go all through all those feminine features, when we're going to start talking about how to become confident, 
I will give you exercises that will make you emotionally stable, emotionally composed. Like within like 30 days, you will be like super cool, super chill. No matter what happens, even the most scary situations happening around you, you will always be under control of your emotions. All right, so I hope you like this video. So, uh, oh, this next one's going to be interesting. So I'm gonna divide those in different videos instead of making one one hour video. I would rather have like five, 10 minute videos. I think it's going to be more interesting. That way I can upload more often. I didn't sleep all night to make this video. So, all right, I'll see you in the next one.